Jerry Jackson, Superfly, Habanks on the mix, New Rome, Lex Entertainment, Akina, Salo people on the come on. Hello and welcome to Sega's African Cuisine. Today I will be teaching you how to fry fish and to season it very, very well. In my local dialect, we found the Mona Welcome to Sega's Kitchen. Today I will teach you now how for seasoned fish and for fire as well. Let's dig into it. Um, of course, this is the fish. I've already washed it with um, lemon juice. As you can see, I've sliced it to um, the way I want it. Um, this is, in my local dialect, we call it Simiji. This helps the fish to get more better taste and um, it also helps it to get more flavor. Of course, this is a, um, in my local dialect as well again, we call it oil. But this is vegetable oil and this one is black pepper, white pepper. This is um, pepper, it's mixed with garlic. And of course, this is um, onga mixed flavor. It has garlic in it, it has ginger and also onions in it. Of course, this is um, a fish flavor that gives the fish a very nice taste. And of course, onga magi. I use onga because it makes the food very delicious and has a very good taste. Of course, this is my gas. The reason why I use MP gas is because it makes my work very, very easy. I mean, so much easier. So, okay, I'm taking uh, one teaspoon of the synergy, put it in. One teaspoon of white pepper here. Okay, this is enough. For me, I like my food spicy, so I'm going to put a lot of pepper into it until I guess it's okay for me. So, let me just put all of it so it be so much spicy and tasty. And um, I'm also going to use the under seasoning. This one I can't say because you can just look at it and know why it is in I don't want to say it should be two teaspoons. It's not enough for it. So the fish seasoning, so it can be so much nice. And as you can see, this is the fish seasoning. I'm going to here now. And um, of course, the organ might be. I'm going to use one cube of organ, not um, half cube here. I'm not going to use all of it for my fish not to be salty. So um, I'm going to split it into two and use this one. This is how my fish looks like after. Um, applying all the ingredients in there this is how it look like so i'm coming to do it like this i don't know how it's called but for it to get more of the seasoning i'm going to use my hand to mix it very well so every bit of it is going to have the seasoning This is how my fish looks after applying everything in it. So I'm going to I'm going to taste it. Let me see. Hmm. It tastes really, 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 really nice. I'm telling you, really, really, really nice. This is how it tastes. After applying everything, this is how it looks. Yeah. So if you want to season your fish, don't forget to use um, 
this is Siminji. I applied Siminji black pepper, white pepper, um, a bit of pepper, and um, garlic in it. I also put other maggi, other mix, and fish seasoning. Okay, my spoon is light. I'm going to put the bottle. I'm giving it some time to be soft. So I'm applying the pepper now and the oil. This is a vegetable oil. I bought from the market. I'm applying it here now. So this is how it's supposed to be. I just leave it for a while so you can see how far it goes. Yeah. And for the fish, you are going to leave it like this. So the seasoning has to be the fish very well. Because of time, I'm not going to put it in a refrigerator. But if you have a lot of time, you can assume it will be better for 10 or 15 minutes. So the seasoning has to be very, very well. So when you have a bite of it, you don't want to make it out. I'm 